This Dodge 2500 truck behind me will not stay in any gear but first. It slips out of all the rest. I'm gonna be going through the steps I take to kind of diagnose what might be wrong with this transmission. We've had the uh, engine and transmission for years. It's been in a couple different trucks. We switched over to a 2500 um, from a 15 a while back. And then um, I did an engine rebuild on it about a year ago. And it has the same transmission that it's had for about 250,000 miles. These transmissions typically go out around 150 from the research that I've done. So it's actually really cool that it's been going this long. First thing I'm gonna do is check the transmission fluid to make sure that it's not just a fluid problem. Before I check the transmission fluid level, what I need to do is just make sure that the engine warms up, the transmission fluid warms up. So I'm just gonna take and drive it around a little bit and then I'll check the fluid at an idle. And that's the way that this truck's transmission fluid is checked, but it varies depending on the vehicle. We're still in the okay mark on the dipstick. In the past, the transmission has ran just fine in that okay margin. There's a check engine light on the dash. I'm gonna plug in my phone to that. We'll read the check engine codes and see if we're getting a transmission code. I had this little OBD2 sensor. It's a Wi-Fi one, so it works with my iPhone that I have. And this thing works great. You can actually get an app that'll tell you a lot more information than just one of those cheap scanners. The app that I like to use is called OBD2 Fusion and it works really well for me. I can go to my diagnostics. I'm getting two errors. So now that I have these codes, I'm gonna look up this year of truck and then this code and see what other people have done to fix the code. I've done quite a bit of research now on those codes and I've determined that when the transmission's slipping, it can only be caused by a couple of things. Low transmission fluid, the filter could be plugged up or the pump inside of the transmission can be bad as well. And there's also a pressure sensor in there. To get to the pump, you might as well rebuild the transmission anyway because our fluid's full and it's probably two months ago had a transmission fluid change and filter change. I think it's just time to rebuild the transmission. So in the near future here, I will be coming out with several videos on my experience of rebuilding that transmission. If you're wanting to see those videos, stay tuned and subscribe. That's gonna be it for this one. Thanks for watching.